guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I'm back with another episode of Modded Super Flat. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. And uh, you're probably noticing something a little bit different. We are using a texture pack. And a lot of you probably know what texture pack it is. But it's got a little flair to it. So, with that being said, we are going to be using the Faithful texture pack from now on. I think it's pretty cool. You're probably thinking, oh man, Faithful's got uh, it's got an add-on for Pams. No, it does not. I made a custom texture pack for this. Um, first off, to get this, you will need to download the Faithful texture pack of FTB. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to come with an Unleashed texture pack, and that's perfectly fine. It's going to have everything from like Tinker's Construct and all that good stuff. And uh, so the only thing you're going to be missing is Mine Fantasy and Pam's Harvest Craft. And so what I did for Pam's is there's one mod or one texture pack author and that's DB Craft, and they have an add-on. So what I did was I took their add-on and added it to the pack. And it actually blends surprisingly well. So it looks good to me. I like it. Uh, it, it kind of actually goes with it very well. I like the barrel textures and everything, and I, I'm actually... If I couldn't like the series anymore, I think I do now more than ever. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is that I moved some things. Uh, this row was actually off one block, and I fixed that. Um, what else did I do? I finished up the sugar cane. Oh, I finished up the sugar cane for this side, that side. Uh, I still need tons of string, though, if we're going to... Stop these for growing it too. There should be string right here. Both of those. I need a lot more than just that though. I need string for pretty much all of it. And uh, I'm not too worried about it though. Um, so to be honest guys. I think we might actually be close to another hangar. Um, and I know you're like dude a third? Yeah well we're missing some things. Um, first off we don't have spots in our farm for these. Onions, peanuts, turnips, and rice. Uh, we're also missing there are white mushrooms. And I don't know, let's see if we can't find some real quick. Normally you can find them just like kind of laying around. They're very much eatable and uh, not too big of a deal. I'm not really seeing any though. Sunflower seeds. Don't know if I have those or not. I know I have sunflowers. This one if I have sunflower seeds. Uh, regardless, um... Oh, really? A chicken seed. Okay. Uh, regardless, either w ooh, forestry. Um, <laughs> either way, um, I think what was it? We needed eighteen seeds. Yeah, because or no, I think it's sixteen. Three, six, eight. Yeah, so we would need sixteen new seeds to get this thing going. Uh, I can't figure out what I was missing before. It looks like I do have sunflower seeds, by the way. Um, so what I added down here was a new crop. And let's go down here, and I'll show you what that is. Maybe I did add turnips. I did add turnips. Okay, so we do have turnips growing. I wonder if these are are these finished? These are finished. Okay, so we can go ahead and add those to the wall. So that takes away one that we would normally have. Um, so I think once I get at least 10 to 12, I'll add a new hanger. Uh, it's a little premature right now. We might be able to, like, go village hunting or something and kind of see... But for right now, the farm is looking spectacular. So now we're kind of at that stage Well, it's like, what's next? Well, we got Thongcraft, we have Forestry. I do want to build a house, and we're going to build a house right here, actually. Uh, one thing I need to do is I need to kind of block off these puddles and uh, hide that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, I have uh, cleared out the land. I filled in the two puddles over here. So what I'm thinking with this is I want to do kind of a farmland house. Something. Whoa. Oh, I'm like, what's going on? There's so many mobs over here. And then I realized I didn't fill that in. I just covered it up. And I'm like, uh, that could be dangerous. Anyways, <laughs> that freaked me out for a second. So uh, with that being said... Um, the front of it's going to be looking this way. Obviously, we'd want the back towards our place over there. Um, so, if you've never seen a farmhouse before, they've typically two stories. They've real, real tall, kind of grand structures. Um, if you drive around your town, 
there's a good chance you'll see the farmhouse that ruled the land or owned the land beforehand. Um, cause they're always going to be the biggest house around, uh, probably going to be made out of brick and it's going to look very old. So ours is actually going to be made out of wood, um, but it's going to be cool anyways. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to line this up exactly center with that right there. Now I think that that looks center to me and uh, we could be, I'm pretty sure we're right, but, uh, yeah, we look good. Um, so what's going to happen is this is going to be, we're going to lay out the floor plan. This is how I do things. I lay out the floor plan and then I build up. Um, always good to get your space kind of planned out. So here's what we're going to do. Um, so you're going to walk up the steps onto a porch. The porch will probably be two blocks high. Uh, so you're going to, I'm just going to simulate the two steps and then the porch is going to probably be four wide. So we'll do four. So a pretty good size, so there'll be a fence here going this way, you know, going this way. Um, I forgot to get food too, crap. Um, and then this right here is going to be the actual door. So then when you walk into the house, um, there's probably going to be about four spaces, and the stairs will start, and it's going to go up. Uh, there'll be a second floor, and then this room um, will be sort of like a just like a middle center room it's gonna be like a grand chandelier type thing th something close to that um so with that being said well we need to pick out what our rooms are next to it and are we gonna have hallways what's up with that you know um <clears throat> so when you walk in i'm thinking we can go to the left or to the <laughs> To the, yeah, to the left, and uh, so let's continue our outside wall here. Let's go to the left some. So remember, we're, stairway is going to be four wide, two railings, and two stairs in the middle. Um, and then we can put, depending on if there's going to be a hallway right here or not, going back to a, an exit back there, we might want to keep this here, you know? Uh, might actually want to do it on both sides. So the stairs will go up this way. This is the simulating the staircase. Um, and then uh, immediately to our left, we can put an entrance to another room. And I have a feeling, you know, we're a, we're a farmland, right? So when we have people over for dinner, we're going to have a lot of people over for dinner. That seems to make sense to me a little bit, at least. I mean, look at you. Ooh, we got another one. Uh, oh, I can plant it right there. There we go. I'm just coming over here. Whoa. I know you guys saw that screen tear. Holy crap. Um, I guess we'll try OpenGL off and see if that fixes it. That seemed to fix it. Okay, let's get some food. Uh, anyways, back to planning. This is, uh, this is actually one thing I'm very good at is planning out homes. Um, when we had to do this in class for school, like, it was such a breeze. All you gotta think about is, you know, what do I want in this, this area that I'm gonna be living in, and, you know, you're, we're gonna be good. So, as we walk through this room, I'm thinking I want the table to be too wide, and we're also going to have chairs. So, too wide space, I'll break this in a second. So, the table will be too wide, um, let's go three. And then two wide chair, so here's the walkway. And then there'll be a chair, chair, and it'll probably start right here. Then we can have, you know, normally there's like a sitting room and like a little coffee table in this area, which is pretty cool. And then I want the table to be very long, probably 10, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty big. That might work out perfectly, actually. Um, so this, the wall here has to continue down as well. Cool. All right, let's go back over here. So this same thing happens here. Uh, probably won't be much on this side. Uh, obviously, I want to have a two wide space so you can walk. Gotta have plenty of room. These houses are very, very big. Um, <clears throat> okay. So then, once again, on this side, we'll probably have a sitting room. When you think of this house, think of something along the lines of maybe like a Home Alone house. Something like that might work pretty good for you. There we go. So this will be the back wall. 
And one thing I, I love about farmhouses and just southern style plantation houses is the wraparound deck. Gotta have a wraparound deck. Um, so it looks like this thing is actually all four. And I want to have it, f I guess that four would work. Uh, three walking spaces and then a, this would be here. So yeah, that'll work out fine. So this will wrap all the way around. And it's going to be actually pretty close. We might need to move it forward some. Anyways, so if we have a dining room right here with this giant table and like the chandelier and all that stuff above it, obviously we need to have a kitchen. So with the steps going up, we can pretty much end this wall anywhere we want. Uh, I'm thinking probably like right here. I don't know. You know, it, it kind of depends on where the steps end, to be honest with you. We'll have to kind of play that by ear as we build it. Uh, let me sleep. Come on now. Um, there we go. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so let's wake up. All right, awesome. So we have we have this giant dining room, and right next to the dining room, you obviously want to have the kitchen. So in here, we're gonna have uh, maybe cabinets on this side that would be that wall right there well these will be barrels full of food uh and there'll be another one like too high um along this side we would want to have furnaces cookware things like that maybe a couple islands with some crafting tables that'd be pretty cool um so the kitchen is going to be a pretty good size as well all right so um, the only thing we don't have yet for the downstairs is a sitting room. You need to have a sitting room, obviously. Um, you gotta have like a little dining room. You got, you got your dining room, you've got your kitchen. So over here is where the, the sitting room would be. Let me grab that. There we go. Awesome. So what we can do is let's continue the house over this way. So we got our entrance right here. Let's continue this wall. Uh, this would come over so when you walk into the foyer here this foyer area This is what that's technically it's not a foyer because it's not a separated room But um, you walk in and you're like, okay, so then there's gonna be couches in here. There's gonna be a TV things like that um, Okay. <coughs> Excuse me so then just kind of deciding on how big do we want this room? Well, you know, depending on what size we want, you know, we got to have a sign on the end of these for couches. So maybe do that and then kind of wrap it around there. So we have a sign there, a sign there. So we've got a couch back here. Um, that's just a distant couch. Maybe do like that in a table or something. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll continue the house down this way. And the porch is going to wrap all the way around this, okay? Um, so then let's continue. Let's meet these up. And you're probably thinking, oh, Jevin, congratulations. You just built yourself a square house. I'm not done yet, actually. Let's go here. There we go. So obviously we need this room to end sometime, you know? It's like, eh. So we could probably call it right here if we wanted to. That's kind of a small sitting room. Doesn't exactly matter, though. So this room is actually going to be a sealed room. This is going to be what people call a sunroom. A sunroom is an outside sitting room that is um, sealed off to the rest of the house because it's outdoors. Uh, it's going to be fenced in. We'll probably use some sort of iron gate or something to simulate the, the metal or the, the fencing for it. Not sure yet. Um, this will have a direct access outside. As well as, you know, the kitchen will too. So we'll have a door here. We'll have a door here. Probably not so close, actually. That'd be kind of irrelevant. Maybe a door here as well. So you can leave the kitchen or you can leave out of the sunroom. The dining room will not have a door. Um, so just to kind of simulate this, there'd be a door here and a door here. So let's let's take a little tour through our house, shall we? Um, here. Did I... Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like I might have built this one off from everything, which it just needs to be scooted over. That's fine. Not a big deal. We're just laying out the base of the house. So we walk in. We have a staircase going upstairs. And we'll do the upstairs once we build the first floor. 
Um, so we have the upstairs. We'll walk in, go up. Uh, and if not, say we want to go to the dining room and we'll walk in and we'll have a spot at the table. There'll be a nice, like, wooden chandelier above us. Um, so if we, oh, yeah, well, we got to go help mom in the kitchen. Uh, here is the kitchen. And then once we're done, we can either go through here and go into the sitting room right here. Um, or we can go into the sunroom, to which will lead to outside, which will lead to the deck. The deck will wrap entirely around the house. Uh, this, I think, is actually going to connect into the sunroom like that. And then continue out probably over here. Uh, so two, four, something along that line right there. So if that makes any sense to you, uh, awesome. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to speed this part up. I'm actually going to build, like, the base foundation of this. I'm going to lay the wood down, kind of get everything planned out a little bit better than just what we did. Uh, and I'll be back in a moment. I hope you enjoy the speed up. Alrighty guys, I am back and I have a little bit of this finished. Uh, now don't think all of this is going to be oak wood because it's not. Uh, just kind of getting things laid out at the moment and once we get kind of more serious about things, um, things will be cleaned up a lot more. So like what we were talking about before, um, <clears throat> this uh, outside rim wraps all the way around and I'm not sure if I want it to go all the way over like I have it here. I'm not, I don't know. We need to keep building first, basically. Um, got a lot of detail I got to do, though. Like, there's a lot to do. Um, with that being said, uh, all of this stuff down here, like all the walls and stuff, they will be fitted to when, like, because we're going to have a basement, too. That's I think that's where our lab is going to be with all the machines and all of our storage. And uh, somehow we'll tie all that into the, to the, uh, the storage system, you know, when we get to it, um, cause you know, eventually you want to get to an ME system, you got to power, all that stuff is going to go into the lab. That'll be our basement. Uh, upstairs is going to be rooms, uh, all these rooms and then upstairs will be bedrooms and we'll make that look as nice as we possibly can. So as far as like decor, I'm thinking, um, <clears throat> for the most part, we're going to do wood like on the outside. Um, I think we might do some birch, uh, like some off-color wood, like where we have windows, because there's going to be a lot of windows, first off. Uh, let's go to the front, and I can kind of give you a... Just by looking at it, I can kind of tell you where the windows are going to be. Well, there's a wall. There's a wall. There's a wall. Here's a wall. So probably going to do something like every two. So yeah, see how that works out? I think these strips will be birch. Um, not sure we'll have maybe one window here. Gotta have a door frame. So we'll probably have a, These windows are gonna be probably two to three high. And uh, that actually worked out pretty well. I'm glad I planned it like that. So uh, a lot of little detailed things. Like I said, I wanna get just kind of the building frame done first. So, um, oh man, look at all of our, uh, <laughs> look at all of our, um, our reed. It's grown so tall. I'm so proud of it. It's grown so big. Now, the only thing I kind of disagree with is the kitchen size. 
But uh, like I said, things are going to look a little bit different once we have the floor and everything in. And I just realized this looks like a giant wiener. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I did not mean to do that. I really didn't. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am back once again, and so what I have done is I have went through and I have put in, put birch in where I feel like there should be pillars. Uh, these are pillars, entrances to the house, and things like that, and uh, so these are window pillars, things like that, windows that go here, probably have uh, glass panes in there. Uh, I kind of like it, and then I continue to put floor down. Now, with the floor, I think we're going to do a pattern. That or... Is there carpet? There is carpet. Okay. So, we might actually do carpet then. That might work better. Um, white carpet or black carpet, probably tile for the kitchen. And then, might actually leave the dining room wood. Uh, like a hardwood floor. Uh, maybe the rest of it hardwood floor. I don't know. I kind of want to do a pattern though. And so this thing is definitely coming along. Um, I The only thing I kind of regret is I kind of wish I would have moved it forward a little bit. Um, I think we'll have plenty of room once we get rid of all of this stuff here. And it just doesn't look like it. But right now it's it feels really close. That's the only thing I'm kind of regretting. Uh, I don't know. So anyways, the stairs will continue up. We'll probably go up three or four, I think. Something like that, maybe. Uh, and all these blocks will... Like I said, we have we have tons of work to do on this thing. Uh, you guys have been asking for a house, and I finally feel like I... I was like, I guess I'll deliver finally and build something amazing. <laughs> even though it's not even close to amazing yet, but... Now, we do have another thing we can do with this section right here. Um, hold on, let me finish eating really quickly. Uh, by the way, we're going to start making more food too once the house is finished. Um, so, instead of using these pillars like this... And we don't really have any oak wood left. I kind of used it all. Instead of doing like that, let me, let me just steal from this wall really quickly. There we go. Uh, instead of doing it like that, we could actually put it down here. So anywhere there's going to be windows, we could put above and below. Like so. And then put the oak wood right there. Something like that, maybe. That's kind of your guys' call. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Um, I've got so many ideas kind of going through my head for this. Um... That I want to do. And I'm going to continue to kind of just look at pictures from Google. And get inspiration from that as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about the texture pack as well. It's really close to default Minecraft. So I figured you guys wouldn't care too much. I actually really like it. And I like how the this, like, this lettuce for example. It's got like really kind of. It really fits the pack. Even though it's not the same texture pack. Uh, I'll, get, I'll provide you guys links down below to all of that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I hope that you would leave a rating. And I hope that you guys have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.